Hi guys, it's Steve from Disruptive Wealth Creation. The question we are asking today is, how do you farm food in a climate change environment where you have flooding, drought, fires and other problems? With an increasing demand for healthy food, we cannot rely on old farming methods anymore. People want food quickly in urban areas. Check this video out, see what the answer is, stay to the end and see my top three shares you might want to invest in. Farmers are looking at more and more creative and ingenious ways of providing food. Netherlands may have one answer. Netherlands is short of arable land. The flat plains of Netherlands make it susceptible to flooding. So, what have they done? Well, they have their first floating farm in Rotterdam. Netherlands now. The floating farm was built in 2018 and became operational in 2019. It is 1,200 square meters in size. Currently, it has 40 cows and it produces milk and dairy products like yogurt, cheese and butter. And it's also producing fertilizer for agricultural land. The farm is big on recycling and sustainability. It is powered by floating solar panels. It collects rainwater on the roof and purifies it so that the cows can drink it. 60% of the cow's food comes from restaurant waste food and the local bakers in the area. The project saves money on transportation by producing locally and selling locally. It shortens the distance between consumer and producer. So, are floating farms new? The answer is no. In Bangladesh, where there is low land, the country struggles during the monsoon season. In bad years, up to three quarters of the land can be flooded. It is only dry for three months. It rains for nine months. People there would be unemployed if their parents and grandparents have not told them about floating farms. Floating beds are made using hyacinth plants. When the floods come, the beds rise and float on the water. The floating farms are very fertile. Farmers grow a huge amount of vegetables without chemicals. First, the farmers will make small balls and put the seeds in them. Then they plant them in the bed when the seeds have sprouted. The bed acts as a natural compost, so the seedlings grow really well without any fertilizer. This tradition is being passed on. So finally, what are my three stocks which I am currently investing in? The first one is the retail company Amazon. They have just done a stock split and you can now buy their shares for around a little over $100. Currently, Amazon is a world leader in e-commerce and retail, and it is unlikely to allow its dominance and profitability to slip away. So profits should return back to normal within the next couple of years, depending on whether there is a recession and how long it lasts. The second company is Tesla, who are about to do a stock split soon, with the share price coming down to around $200 per share. Tesla have recently opened two new gigafactories, one in Berlin, Germany, and the other in Texas, USA. Both are said to be ramping up in the next few months their uh, production, as demand currently exceeds supply for their cars. And third and finally, Apple, whose financial position is pretty solid at the moment, might be worth a punt and a buy. You can buy their shares at the moment around about $135 each. All these companies are in the S&P 500. With the stock market down at the moment, these companies are at bargain price. Historically, they are likely to go up at some point. Again, let me know in your comments what you think. Have a good day and see you in the next one.